The following segment of Playing the News has already been debunked, but I call cover-up. Hi guys, this week I'd like to point your attention to Zelenchukskaya, where a huge radio telescope picked up a signal possibly sent from 94 light years away. A group of Russian astronomers detected the mysterious signal spikes on May 15th last year. And right now a group of international scientists is investigating a 6.4 billion year old star in the constellation Hercules, hoping to find more of those signals emitting from that part of space. The detection and the further investigations are going to be a hot topic at the end of this month at the International Astronautical Congress in Guadalajara, Mexico. Which will be the same place and date as where Elon Musk will reveal his plans to colonize Mars. This week I am playing a game that's all about exploring space. A game in which you try to find more worlds to add to your tableau. This week I am playing Race for the Galaxy Race for the Galaxy is a card game in which players build galactic civilizations by playing cards in front of them that represent worlds or technical developments. There are five phases to the game that only get triggered when one or more players secretly and simultaneously chooses that phase. Predicting and anticipating your opponent's moves are crucial to winning this game. Race for the Galaxy is fun with three or four players, but in my opinion really shines in a head-to-head -head battle. I participated in a couple of one-on-one -on -one tournaments and it is very addictive. If you don't already know the game, I suggest you check it out. In the meantime, I'll go look at the stars and see you next week. My name is Dave Luzin. Thanks for watching.